Hi everyone, so it is actually Monday. Um, this is just a quick intro to this vlog. Um, I started it yesterday, which was Sunday, and it was meant to be a day in the life. It's turned out to be one and three quarters of a day in the life. Um, it's a little bit of a mishmash, but grab yourself a nice cuppa, sit back, enjoy. See you at the end of the video. Good morning, good morning everyone. Pop some light on the subjects, shall we? Okay, so this is going to be a day in my life video, which is rather chaotic at the moment. Got some washing drying on the area indoors. We've got stuff out uh, because Chris is going to be putting the microwave on the wall in the kitchen over there today. Um, just to make a little bit more space on the worktop. So I thought I'd just you know, show you what I'm up to today, which actually is not an awful lot, but I'm going to do some breakfast. I'll turn the camera around. So it's half past ten, and um, we're going to have some of these plain scotch pancakes with some of this streaky bacon. So I thought I'd do it on the griddle today. Um, this is where the microwave it's going to go. So it's got some brackets, so it's got to drill through there. Um, that yellow tape is where he's marked it up, he's checked for the pipes and electric cables, I guess, Chris, is it? Yeah, yeah everything on there. So yeah, I'm going to do some breakfast. It's pure one. No, oh, uh, yeah. Well, that's what you know. That syrup I got from two can yeah. I said I didn't like the taste. It tasted yeah. synthetic, and every time yeah. I had it, it didn't yeah. taste right. Yeah. And I swear that was the same. Yeah. Because when you look at my it was a big bottle like that, yeah. for like three, four quid. I mean, yeah. it's not going to be how it was there. You didn't buy the kind of stuff like they're doing um, from the Starbucks one with Costas. Chrissy is unsure, aren't you? <laughs> you know, unsure, aren't you? Uh, so he you, you bought this new tool. It didn't bleep yesterday when I tried it. Oh, that's, why, that's why it bleeped. 
Yeah. What about? Mm, suddenly it's decided to bleep. Well, it didn't bleep. Oh, is that because it's? Surely the wires are following down where those plugs are, aren't they? Yeah. Those sockets are. So you really can't do that area at all, Chris. Right. But that's why it's up here. See there, it's fine. Yeah. Don't do it then. This is it's got to go that deep. No, 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 don't risk it. It's not worth risking it. Okay, let's go back to ban plan B. No. Is he doing it everywhere though? Yeah. Not yeah. there though, yeah. See on that wall you've even got a socket outside on the outside of yeah, that wall there. Right. So back to you, a different plan. Plan B. Yeah. Heavy, yeah. Um so I'm gonna get the microwave there. <laughs> so that hasn't gone according to plan, has it? And yet I thought he kind of Although I did say you need to get that tool first and try it before you buy the bracket. Oh no. Mother knows best. Right, give this a clean and then I'll... I wish I didn't really need the microwave. I don't use it for an awful lot, but... No, I don't, do we? We don't, but we do need it for... Well, I don't know what for. Okay. Well, we use it for, like... Beans and tomatoes. No, things like, you know, sometimes if we're reheating something or not for actual meals, it's more reheating type of thing, isn't it? Yeah. For us. Um, and we did do away with the microwave a while ago, a few years back. And I ended up getting another one. I mean, you'll probably moan if I say to you, have you got anywhere to store this in the garage and we see if we can manage without it? I'll do that if you want me to. And then if we can't manage without it... I mean, it does mean that we... Have, it does mean that we have to put the beans in the sauce, but I mean, we tend to like tip the beans and stuff like that into a jug in the microwave. But then we have a jug to wash up, we might as well have a saucepan to wash up. Yeah. What do you want to do? Take the microwave away. Well, you can do that then. Yeah. And I'll faff about here. But we won't get rid of it because if we decide we want to, don't want to be going out and buying another microwave. Yeah. Microwaves going on holiday to the garage. <laughs> Honestly, brilliant ideas. Never mind, eh? Never mind, keeps us on our toes. Right. Right. Yeah, okay. It's going to be KitchenAid Corner. <laughs> KitchenAid Corner. Let's just wipe that wall down a bit. Ooh. There we go. What we've done is recently, in the last few weeks, is reinvested in some of the kitchen appliances. So um the air fryers that we've had they still work absolutely perfectly and so they're being handed on um so they're not being wasted or anything like that um and we also got some new knives in a knife block and our kitchen knives are going on to somebody else so you know somebody else is going to be able to make use of those appliances um, but we wanted something a little bit more sort of efficient a little bit more of a workhorse so we've gone for some new ninja items oh, I will show them to you I'm just sort of like re-jiggling everything 
Oh, so this is the new Ninja knife block. That's the sharpener here. So every two weeks you sharpen the knives. I won't be, but Chris will be responsible for that. So I'm going to put them. I think they're like that. Well, I might put them all in the corner. My only worry about having knives well, not out because even in the drawers is when you've got a grandchild here. But then, you know, you keep an eye on your kids, don't you? And they could easily take them from a drawer anyway. And they should be taught not to touch knives. And you don't just abandon your kids and grandkids anyway to do their own thing. You have to look after them. Make sure that they don't do these things. Right. Oh, gosh, it sticks down really, really well. That, I think, might be better to have them there. My suit maker I had before was really, really good. However, it did break in the end. Um, kind of what happened was, because the, the blades, if you like, that mash everything up and stir, they were from the top, so you put it in, it was a towel one. It didn't ever really reach, well it didn't, completely reach the bottom. So a lot of stuff got stuck to the bottom and then it just kept cutting out and you had to keep going and putting it back on. Um, whereas this one, it, um, always oh, flipping down, but as you can see, it's at the bottom here. And it's incredible and it really makes a smooth soup. It's fantastic. What I might do, let me think about this. I don't know if I like it yet. It takes me a while to get used to things. Let me see what I think of that. It doesn't thrill me at all that. Oh, and also, we just tried the boiler because we thought, well, it's getting a bit nippy. Let's make sure everything's running smoothly. Just as well we did, it's not. So the heating is not coming on. Um, but we do have boiler care, so we have made an appointment. They're coming out tomorrow between half eight and half six, I think, or half eight and six. So it's an all day thing, um, they're coming out. So I'm glad we've discovered it like now, you know, rather than, kind of when we really, really need it. Right. Right, so that ends all sort of tidy now. So it's made a bit more room down there anyway, I think. And then sort of jiggledy a few bits around here on the island. There's the chaise with Elsie's tennis balls on. I've got a cover over it, guys, obviously, because where the weather's so unpredictable, quite wet at the moment, little tiny paws, muddy paws all over it would not make me very happy. And how are you today, Mr. Teddy Bear? Mr. Teddy Bear with your teddy bear face. Is you beautiful? Oh dear, you are tired. You are tired. Say hi. You can camera shy. Is you beautiful? Yeah. Back in the lounge. It's cold. It's kind of fresh. But if we have the curtains open, even with the blinds, actually, this time of day, it's very bright at the window at the front here. So we do tend to have to close the curtains for that reason, if we're going to watch a bit of TV, which we are. And also to stop our little best friends with four feet from barking when people go by. Some idiot just now let a firework off and my teddy absolutely hates them he came running in to get on my lap to protect him bless him i put that little thing like a little snood thing it is for them um for like at times like firework that sort of thing so i put that on him for a little while and he did calm right down and chris is out there emptying the dishwasher that's what all the clacking and clanging and clickety clacking about is you're doing a little snort snort aren't you yes my angel tonight I'm so dog tired. <laughs> do I look it? Do I look dog tired? I do feel it. 
I really do feel so tired right now. Um, sort of every minute of the day, I'm kind of really trying to keep my eyes open. So I try to keep busy. But obviously then there comes a time where I have to just give in. By the time you see this video, you never know. I could have been in hospital and back out. Um, but I'm waiting to go and have another x-ray done on uh, the back of my neck. So just in case they need to uh, do a tracheostomy or anything like that, they want to just check. Because I've got rheumatoid arthritis, they say that now they need to check. It's, I don't know if it's a new thing. I didn't have it, I don't think, last time I had surgery. Um, I just had to prove that I could, like, move my neck and, you know, so that they could manipulate my neck if they needed to. But this time round, I've got to have, like, an x-ray done of it. So that is this week. But they did say I could already be admitted for that appointment. In which case, they would just do it while I'm in there. I'm totally aware that it's been a bit boring, you know, today's video, really. Just day in my life and... Not a lot going on, so I just kind of try and keep myself, as I say, busy. I've sort of tidied the bathroom, cleaned that. I've cleaned, you know, like the rungs in between the the banister, not the banister down the stairs, but the landing. I've cleaned in between them today. Busy doing kind of pottering, I suppose you'd call it. But I'm going to have coffee and then I might have 40 wings and then I'm going to cook dinner. So I'll catch you a bit later on today. It is quarter past five and I'm cooking dinner. I've got the steaks on, mushrooms, I'm doing them on the griddle as well. I've got chips in the air fryer. I'm going to put peas in here. Tomatoes to cook as well. Sauce, Chris. No, thank you. That's the pink peppercorn sauce. Chips under here. You got mushrooms uh, or mushrooms, tomato, steak, and peas. Morning, everyone. It's now Monday morning. I totally forgot to end the video yesterday, so. So I'm just going to do a little bit of Monday morning. Of course, it's cold, isn't it now? I've got leggings on, um, a vest top, a t-shirt <laughs> and a cardigan. Um, we're waiting for the man to come out and to do the boiler because, as I said yesterday, it, for some reason, we're just not getting any... We're having hot water, but we're just not having any heating. So we need to get that sorted right now. Um, so he's phoned. He's coming out between half ten and half twelve. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he'll be able to get whatever the problem is sorted. I'll see. I'll see. Do you think he'll get the 
Elsie, I'm talking to you. Do you think I get the problem sorted? No? Okay, you're walking away. Do you think I get it done? Because you don't like the cold, do you? We want to be nice and warm, don't we? Yes, we do. the sky today it's very it's like that typically autumnal day today out there a little bit breezy look like, you know that sort of cold day where you just want to wrap up warm if you have to go out well even if you have to stay in and wrap up warm <laughs> On a, on a little throw on the floor with their little morning tree. There's my coffee. So I don't really have any plans for today, do we, Elsie? I might do a bit of a card making. I've been making Christmas cards lately, so... Yeah, I might make some more cards. I don't know. Morning sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I'd pop on them, my loves. I'm just sat, like, just enjoying sitting back on the chaise. It's lovely. And I thought I'd end the video here. Um, I've already said the heating's all being sorted, so thank goodness that's done. All right, Mr. Snorty, Snorty, Grumpy, Grumpy. Ted, Ted. Get up with Mummy. Pick this little man up, look, my little Ted, Ted, Ted. So yeah, my lovelies, it is now, what's the time? It is now almost five o'clock actually in the evening. Um, I've got a few things ready for dinner. I'm just doing, um, like, doing it in the air fryer, but I'm doing, like, potatoes, baby potatoes, onion, carrots on the bottom. And I got some chicken out of the freezer this morning. I'm gonna pop the chicken on the top and then just do it as like a tray bake type of thing in the air fryer. And then I'm gonna make up like a nice little marinade of uh, Worcester sauce, maybe a bit of soy sauce, some chili flakes, salt and pepper, um, tomato puree. Make up a nice little marinade and then when it's almost cooked, I'm just going to like pour it all over so it gets like a nice, almost like, a, oh, maybe a bit of honey as well. That'd be nice. Um, bit of garlic. Yeah. And then it'd be like a really nice glaze over the top of it to finish it off. So that's what I'm doing for dinner. So I've got the veggies out ready. But I'm going to wait for a while. It doesn't take long to do in the air fryer anyway, does it? But I'm going to end this video here. It was intended to be one day. It's ended up being about one and three quarters of a day of just literally a day of my life. One and three quarters days of my life. Um, I'm going to leave it here, as I've said. I hope you are all really, really well. Take good care of yourselves. It's that time of the year now when we're all starting to get like coughs and sneezes spread diseases so please take care of yourselves everyone i will talk to you in my next video uh, if you have enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up that really helps my channel no end if you haven't subscribed to my channel before then i'd love you to subscribe it's absolutely free and press that notification bell so that you get informed when i've done a new upload and then you can sit down with a cup and enjoy so i will see you in the next one take care everyone bye for now bye